The following dramatization is based on published accounts and interviews. Do I make you nervous? Why is the NBA afraid of me? Is it because I'm different? Life is full of choices. I'm the man I choose to be. But it wasn't always that way. Come on, boys! Come on! Ah! Go, Dennis! Come on, man! <laughs> there was a time when my life was a mess. A hopeless mess. No money, no father, no future. Mom working three jobs a day. And me, well. to go to Cook County JC. Sister girl's going to college. Oh yeah, all right then. Mm -hmm. All right then, two down, I got one to go. You wanna tell him, Debbie? Tell me what? My coach saw you playing at the rec center the other day. She wants you to try out for the- Girls team? Oh, yeah, I can handle that. Dennis, the men's team at Cook County. Forget it, I ain't college material. What do you mean you ain't college material? If the girls can get an education playing basketball, so can you. Ma, I am not college material, body-wise or brain-wise. Now, that is not true. The only problem with you is you don't apply yourself. Give me that. Ma, the only problem is I'm hungry. Can I have my uh, phone? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Now, you listen to me, Mr. Rodney. Either you agree to go and see that coach in the morning, or you are going to starve to death. Now, which is it going to be? Rodney, go, 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 go! Come on, Rodney, run the damn play, will you? And run it my way, not your way! Please, God. Tell me that jumping jack out there is the kid you want me down here to see. Hey, Rodney? Yeah. Not to you, Lon. Ellis is the kid you want. He's a great ball handler, one of the best I've had. He's got a good shot, too. DJ, stop him! Where did you get him? Ellis? South Pole guy was all state three years. Not Ellis, no. Rodman, where did you find him? Uh, projects. In and out of school. Never played high school ball. No high school ball? No, he was a run. And he grew nine inches in one year. Zoom. Now I'll tell you, Lonnie's all instinct. No discipline. No outside shot to speak of. You ask me, he's not your boy. You think I could get him up to Southeastern? Now, uh, maybe. He ever gets his grades together. Right now, he goes to class about as often as I go to the opera. Come on, set it up! Set it up! Say no shooting, y'all, and crying out loud! Well, that's too bad, because I could really use a player like that right now. He's like a machine.
cutting your classes. And if I have? Are you gonna enjoy being a janitor? Hmm? Ball isn't everything, Dennis. You gotta get a degree if you wanna be somebody. I don't play ball for no degree. I play it for me. The way it makes me feel. Oh, the way it makes you feel? Yeah, I mean, it changes me like. It makes me feel like I'm a different person. Basketball's just a game, Dennis. It doesn't change who you are. Maybe not for you, but it does for me. I mean, when I'm out on that court, I just feel like I'm just so, so... Sexy, beautiful. Mm? Yeah, that's right. Sexy and beautiful. <laughs> Repeat after me, Worm. A degree. That's the only thing can really change who you are. Not some game. Yeah, right. A degree. What they gonna do to me? I'm the best player on the team. What? Oh, man, you can't be serious, coach. You know the deal. You go to class, you play ball. You don't go to class. The uniform, please. No, man. There's got to be something you can do. No, no, no. There's nothing I can do. Dennis, you had your chances. This one is on you. Get up. I said, get up. Uh -huh. Get your sorry, narrow little behind off of that cat. Uh -huh. Now, you listen to me, Dennis Rodman. You think that you can flunk out of school and live on me the rest of your life? You are sadly mistaken. You either go get your behind back in school or go get yourself a job, one or the other. Or else what? Or else you will be the second Mr. Rodman uh -huh. that I put out onto the street. I did it once, and I can do it again. Try me and see. I'm not paying you four fifty an hour to practice your jump shot, Rodman. You're supposed to be sweeping the floor and cleaning toilets. Or maybe you don't want to work here no more. For me? Give up all this money and these perks? Now wait, Chief. Perks? What perks? You get stuck in traffic or you forget you had a son. Don't bother getting in, Dennis. I didn't come here to pick you up. I have decided that you can't come home. What? But, Ma, I gave all those watches away. They got them all back. The police said they're going to drop that the charges. That is not the point, Dennis, and you know it. I warned you, didn't I? I was eating up by the streets, bro. And the only thing that kept me going was the game.
you see that? You don't have to convince me, Mrs. Ryan. Hello, Dennis. You looked real good out there. Yeah, I did. I always play hard on my birthday. I know, I remember. Is that why you came? No. To give me a birthday car? I brought somebody here to see you, Dennis. Now look, Dennis. I think you should hear what he has to say. Because maybe then we can talk about you coming back home. Dennis? Lon Reisman. I'm a basketball coach at Southeastern Oklahoma State. But, Ma, Oklahoma? That's in the middle of nowhere. What was you even thinking about? No. This is the middle of nowhere where your life is right now. Yeah, but, Ma. But nothing. Now, look, that man came all the way down here to give you a second chance. I am giving you a second chance, but this is the last time, Dennis, and I mean it. Oh, God, you can do this. I know you can. Look, go to that college and learn how to be a man. Learn how to care about somebody other than yourself. Oh, I want to get going, right? Right. But good this time. Sorry, I'm late. You okay? Forget it. I'm just fine. Just fine. keep telling you we're gonna do this until everybody makes full effort everybody and if you can't then get your lazy butt out of here you hear me Robin now get in line Who's that, Coach? Someone who couldn't do it, not bad. This ain't a free ride, Dennis. You wanna play for me, you're gonna work your tail off, and you're gonna like it. And I don't just mean in here. Coach. Mrs. Elroy came to see me yesterday. You miss her class again, it had better be because you're dead. And that's how I learned something about myself I never knew before. I like working hard. Ain't that wild? <laughs> Coach, 
please. Do you want me to coach them? That's right. So stop your whining and get to it. Why me, man? Why am I going to coach these oh, little... relax. They're just kids. Look, if they give you any trouble, just blow on that. It'll shape right up. <laughs> It'll no, be I'm fine. Not. I know that, but you're going. You are? Brian. Brian Rich. Brian Rich? My mom made me come. Mine, too. I'm Dennis. I bet she told you it'll make a man out of you. Yeah, how'd you know? That's what they always tell you when they want to get you out of the house. All right, everybody on the line, we're about to run some sprints. I need you moving right now. Bring team up here, bring team up here. Let's go, let's go. I want everybody to get full up, everybody. And if you don't want to get full up, get up out the gym right now. I want it in 10 seconds. Let's go. No, no, Dennis. Dennis, you're the postman. You got to post up under here, underneath here. But I made the shot, Coach. Yeah, I know you did, and it was a very pretty shot. The trouble is, that's not your job to look pretty. Your job is to look ugly. Ugly? Ugly. You're not a ballerina. You're a grave digger. You got to play like one. I want you under here all the time, underneath the, underneath the glass, banging, hustling, everything, okay? You got a hook shot, don't you? A hook shot? Yeah. Yeah, I got a hook shot. Show me. Uh, hook shot. There you go. Let's go. Number one. Let's go, let's go, let's go, come on, boys, bring it up, bring it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run the play, run the play, come on. Shut the play up, shut the play up. Use the hook, use the hook. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way you take the ball to the hoop, man. You're MVP, man, I'm proud of you. MVP, me? Yeah, you were the team's leading score and assist, man. Who else would it be? Well, then you've got to reward me like you promised, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Then I know just what I want. I want you to come have dinner with us at the farm. <laughs> what? You said you'd give me anything I wanted, remember? Yeah, bro, but I don't know about that one, bro. It'll be fun. Y'all eat like this every night? You bet. You're not very comfortable here, are you, son? Where? You mean? Here, in Durant. You must be a little out of place, seeing as how you're... Well, you're as... Well, you're as tall as a dead gum silo, and... Me and the tires on your car are the only black things around? You can say I feel uncomfortable at times. But you're sticking it out. That's good. So, Dennis, uh, I hear they call you Worm. What kind of a nickname is that for a young man, Worm? Well, when I was a kid, I could never sit still, and I used to always wiggle on my butt like I need to be Worm, so. <laughs> <laughs> Intense. Intense. Game! Yes! Yes! Game! Game! Okay, one more. Come on. One more. I like him, Brian's friend. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I think he's good for Brian. Don't worry, honey. Don't worry. Makes him laugh. It's still timeless. It's only 10, right? Uh, no, 11. Oh, is it that late? Dad would take you back tonight, Dennis. But he's really tired, right, Mom? Uh, yeah. But if Dennis doesn't want to stay, Brian... But he does want to stay. Tell her, Dennis. Well, you'd really help us out, Dennis. I mean, it's a long ride into town. It's late. 
You know, if you don't mind, we could save Mrs. Rich the worry and make the drive in the morning. What do you say? Sure. Whatever. Good. Okay. Well, good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Boys, come on down now. Breakfast is ready. Um, this is all kind of weird for me, I mean... You don't have to explain anything to me, Dennis. I looked at you and Brian that way this morning because... Well, it had been a long time since I'd seen him sleep so soundly. So peacefully. I'll leave him to tell you all the details if he wants to. Over the summer, there was a hunting accident, and Brian's best friend was shot and killed when, when Brian's gun went off. And he hasn't slept through the night since. to all my prayers. And you will always be welcome in our home. Always. I was over at the Riches family all the time after that. Brian needed a friend, and I needed one too. We became a family, the Riches and me. But not the kind of family you'll see on TV. First game jitters, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Well, don't worry about it. That only means you're ready. Listen to me. All you have to do, Dennis, is be yourself. Play your game. You understand me? It's defense, it's rebounding, that's hustling. That's your game, and nobody out there plays it any better. Nobody. And now, introducing your... All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Watch the 
Look at that, will ya? Don't that make you wanna puke? Oh. Oh, what James is thinking about. Treating that ape like his son. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe that is his real son. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. Go out to the car and wait for me. Go on. Go on, guys. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Dale, the boy is my son. Come to think of it, every black kid in the county is mine. Have you got a problem with that? Dennis. Damn it! That's how much a new front end's gonna cost me in that tractor. $840. But I told you, man, it wasn't my fault, all right? If them jokes wouldn't have messed wrong, with Wrong, wrong, wrong. I mean, if you hadn't lost your head. Those rednecks didn't put my tractor in the ditch. You did. They pushed your buttons, Dennis, and you lost it. Just like they wanted you to. So? So you have got to be stronger. Look, I said I'm sorry, all right? Now, you said I have to work to stay here, right? I'm working hard. You ought to be grateful, man. I'm sorry, what was that? Grateful? Dennis, there are two things I'm grateful for in my life. One is my health, and the other is my family. And if you want to remain a part of that family, you've got some serious growing up to do. First time and all. No. <laughs> but if anybody should find out, you know you're not only gonna be my first girl in Durant, you're gonna be my last one too. I know. Somebody told my father about us eating lunch together in front of God and the whole campus was how he put it. I'm on restriction. <laughs> Let me ask you something, MJ. If I wasn't a basketball star, would I be here right now? Would you? Don't ask me that, Dennis. You know I would. <laughs> Do I? You know, when I was back in Dallas, the girls, they wouldn't even give me the time of day. They said I was too ugly for them. But the only thing different now is I'm starring for Southeast. Got everybody thinking I'm a prospect or something. I don't think you're a prospect. I just think you're sweet. That's why you're here, bro. <laughs> That's the only reason you're here. 
Ya. Mary Jane, you up there? Oh, Killed by that crazy fool. Don't you realize that? Yeah, I realize it. But you're gonna stay away from that girl. From now on. You hear me? That's an order. That white girl you mean, right? Just go ahead and say it. I shouldn't have to go ahead and say it, Dennis. You've been in this town long enough to know how things work around here. Meaning? Meaning I think we'd all be better off if you stayed in your dorm room for a while. If you want to go see the riches again after the postseason tournaments are over, fine. What? You heard me. You're back in the dorm again. Forget it, You've man. caused the last distraction for this team that you're gonna cause. Forget it. You can't make me stay in the dorm room if I wanna stay there. The hell I can't, Dennis. This is my team, not yours. When I say jump, you say how no, high. No, when you say jump, I walk. Best of luck in the postseason, coach. You a quitter. No. Uh, you a loser? No. But I'm so sick and tired of this crap, man, that I... <sighs> well, you quit. You go back to the projects and you lose. I mean, I don't fit in, man. Nobody want me around here. No, Dennis. Some men, they never fit in. They have to make their own place. And that's what you got to do right here, right now. Otherwise, they have won. They have beaten you. Ain't nobody beating me. That's it. You got to take that rage that you feel every time somebody hurts you, and you got to use it. You got to find strength in it. Can't run away and hide. Understand? Yeah. Tell you what. I want you to say. I want you to say they can't make me quit. <laughs> what? Yeah, let me just hear you say they can't make me quit. Just do me a favor. They can't make me quit. All right, now say it with a little feeling, like you really feel that. They can't make me quit. Now say it with a little passion, a little louder. They can't make me quit. Now again. They can't make me quit. Again. They can't make, make me quit. They, they can't, can't make me quit. They can't make me quit. They can't make me quit. They can kiss my wiggly butt. They can kiss my wiggly butt. Let's get back in the truck. Yes! <laughs> I know, bro. Corny's here, right? But it worked. Bad as I wanted to run home to my mother, I stayed at the and finished school. It was the first time in my life I faced my problems instead of running away from them. And you know what? It felt pretty good. Come on, honey. Come on, you don't want to get wet. Oh, oh come on. Woo. It's you. 
Are you sure he's okay? Well, he has a temperature of 101 down from 104, but he says he can play. We had to pull fast one on Mom. Put an ice cube under his tongue when she wasn't looking. Dennis, you don't have to do this, all right? I know how important this is to you, but you don't have to do it. I'm okay. Trust me. I'm just a little warm. That's all. All right, let's go. Trust me. in their biggest game of the year, and all eyes are on star forward Dennis Rodman, who's running a high temperature game time. But he starts off fast with an easy layup. Whoa, nothing wrong with him on that play. <coughs> and Savages are on the break. And Rodman finishes it with another easy two. What a play. Oh my God, get him out there. Back, back, back. Come on. Back, back, back. Walsh throws an alley-oop. And Rodman slams it down with authority. Wow. Man, what a game. With only 15 seconds left, the Southeastern Oklahoma Savages trail by one. All right, is everybody clear on that? Get it into Dennis in the park, all right? Take this out if you have it. If you don't, you kick it out to Luby or Wall. You take the outside perimeter. Now, there's plenty of time. Don't force it. Just do it fast. Let's go. Come on. You got that, Dennis? Dennis, you got that. All right, take it easy now. Roger has the hot hand, but he can't get the ball. They've got him covered like a blanket. scare there, son. The doctor said we got you here just in time. But now you're the man, Worm. The whole town's talking about you. Not just the town. Half the country. It was an All-American performance you gave us last night, Dennis. All-American? Mm -hmm. Me? Hey, the Pro Scouts won't stop calling. I think you better make plans to watch the draft, son. Yes! Come on! Yeah! <laughs> and that wraps up the first round of the professional draft. The first pick in the draft went to Cleveland. Don't worry, Dennis. They're bound to... Where'd he go? Hey. So they didn't draft you in the first round. It ain't over till it's over. It's all... It's all over. I don't even know why I even thought, man, that I... What? <laughs> what, that you're good? That you can, you can play the game better than most kids have ever played against? Because you can. Dennis. Dennis, you defend like a wildcat. And you rebound like a dadgum house on fire. And those NBA scouts, they know that. They have seen you do it. Come on. Come on, let's go back in the house before we miss him calling your name. Come on, let's go. <laughs> go, 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 go. Hello? Is this 
Dennis Rodman? Yeah, this is Dennis Rodman. This is Coach Chuck Daly with the Detroit Pistons. You're our next pick in the draft, son. Would you like to be a Pistons? Hell yeah! I, I mean, yes, sir. Yes, sir, I would love to be a Detroit Pistons. Yeah! 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 I cry when I play my first game in the NBA. It's like a dream come true. Me, Dennis Rodman, a little kid from the projects playing ball in the NBA. <laughs> Man, I couldn't believe it. Sylvia Nolan, Channel 4 Sports. Our fans know all about your teammates, Isaiah Thomas and Bill Lambert. But can you tell me who exactly is Dennis Rodman? Nobody. Straight out of nowhere. There you go, sweetheart. Enjoy. I like that stuff, huh? She is fine! <laughs> Get used to it, brother, because guys like us, it's on the menu every night. <laughs> but that, that you want to stay away from. She's a clipper. Clipper? Yep, the clippers, they cut our salaries out of the newspapers and they keep them on file. Can you guess what? All right, all right, all right, go for it. See if she doesn't show up on your doorstep seeing that she's pregnant later. I'm just a rookie, man. What's she gonna want with my type of money? Listen, you ain't gonna be a rookie forever. Someday, D, you're gonna be worth a lot of green. That's when she gonna come calling. Understand? Your shot, young blood. I should have listened to the man. But it was hard, bro. Because when you play in the NBA, women fall on you like rain. Some of them after your money, some just after a good time. Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman? You're not John Sally? <laughs> it's just a joke, silly. I know exactly who you are. What do you say you and I get out of here and go party? Party? That's what I came here for. Come on. Quickly now, quickly! Bring it up, bring it up! There he is. Come on, in there, feed it. There it is. Take it, Dennis. Oh, come on, Dennis, come on. Dennis, if you're not going to play. Mr. Rodman, can I have a word with you, please? You're done for the day. Thanks for stopping by. What? Out here in the court, practically nothing, same as yesterday. But who's up? Look, this is the way it is, Dennis. We're gonna win a championship here, with or without you. Now, if you want it to be with you, you're gonna have to start getting some sleep at night. Now, if you'll excuse me, the rest of us have some work to do. All right. 
Listen up. We gotta work in that transition. We gotta get it up to that guy. Feed it into the center, all right? I want you guys to work out here. Coach is right. I'm gonna really have to start cooling. What he says really means a lot to you, huh? Yeah, it does. He believes in me. He thinks I can be a great player. And I don't want to mess that up. Well, then don't. I mean, if he wants you to slow down, then slow down. I won't mind. I mean, I could get kind of used to this. Yeah. Turning in early with my man every night. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could, Dennis. For you, I could do anything. Where to go, Dennis? All right. That's it. Now bring it up, bring it up. Do do? Down low, down low. Feed it, feed it. There it is. That's it, Mr. Rodman. All right, nice transition. Okay, we're D now. Come on, D up, D up. Take him, take him. Yes, all right, Dennis. Move it up, move it up. That's it. We didn't get to the World Championship Coach wanted that year. But we did make it all the way to the Eastern Division Finals. Gave Boston all they could handle for six games. And if it hadn't been for one man, we might have made it seven. Larry Bird is on fire tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And all four Dennis Rodman can do is watch. comment about uh, Larry Bird, if you could, given his performance this afternoon, would you say he's the greatest player in the game today? No. Well, you don't think he's that good? Larry Bird, man, is overrated. I mean, he's a good player and that's all, but man, the only reason he get all that publicity is because he's white. Okay, uh, Isaiah, you heard what Dennis just said. Any comments? You believe there's any truth to that? Well, actually, I don't believe it. Larry Bird is a hero because he's white? I didn't say that. You said the only reason he gets the press he gets is because he's white. His talent's got nothing to do with it, I don't suppose. That's true. Look, if they didn't want to hear the truth, they should ask somebody else. Oh, they did. They asked our team leader. I expect this kind of nonsense from him, but you, you are supposed to know better. Look, I made a mistake and I said I'm sorry, but sometimes those idiots pick the wrong time to ask a stupid question. Yeah, you damn straight. It doesn't matter. You look like racists, the both of you. Now, this reflects on everybody, the team and the league. So what you want us to do, huh? Just kiss Larry's butt on national TV? I want you to learn to keep your mouth shut! Just play the game and keep your boneheaded opinions to yourself. Nobody is paying you to hear what you think, Dennis. they did, they'd know you didn't mean anything by what you said. Just came out wrong. 
Give him time. Time. The mail for you downstairs. The team forwarded it. You can bring it up to me if you like. Mail? No, no thanks. I can read it just fine from here. Nobody asks you, monkey. Or bird can outplay you any day, black boy. Just like all the mail when I got back in Detroit. Just hold on. Can I spin off for a while, please? Sure. Thank you. What do you think? I think it looks great, Dee. But I mean, this is it, right? You're only gonna get one. Of course. What do you think? I'm crazy. No, I think you are irresistible. And then someone else came along, who was irresistible too. My daughter Alexis was born was the happiest day of my life, bro. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Coach Chuck Daly and the 1989 World Champion Detroit Pistons. He's the NBA Defensive Player of the Year, number 10, Dennis Rodman. Life was so good back then. Detroit put together a great team. Of course, Daly got us to two world championships. But then it all came apart. New management, new players, and no more Detroit bad boys. All right, fellas, listen up. You're probably wondering what we're doing here on a Monday, so I'll make this brief. I've been asked to leave. Management is... Management's asked me to step down, and I've agreed to do so. But I'd like to take this opportunity, before I go, to thank you all personally for what you've given to the team and to me. You've got guts. You've got talent. You've got heart. More than some players will ever see. I want to wish you all the best for the remainder of the season and the rest of your careers. No more, baby. You're a bad boy, Daddy. Me? I'm not a bad boy. Oh, yes, you are. Because you marry mommy. Why won't you marry mommy, Daddy? Can you please marry mommy? Did your mommy tell you to say that? No, Dennis, I did not tell her to say that. Yeah, right. Dennis, she wants us to be a family. That's all. Married people make families. We're a family right now. No, we're not. We live together. That's it. There's a difference. So how is getting married going to change anything, huh? How is it going to change us? Who we are, what we do? Because we can change. If we really love each other, we can stop all the messing around, grow up, settle down. If not for our sake, then for hers. Hey, baby.
everybody in Detroit knows me. You think I wouldn't even hear about it? The thought occurred to me. Oh, the thought occurred to you. You're supposed to be my wife. You were supposed to change, remember? Oh, I see, Dennis. I'm supposed to change, but you're not. Do you think that I don't know what you're doing when you're out on the road? Or have you forgotten how you and I met? You're gonna wake Alexis, Annie. Oh, please, like you care about Alexis. Look, if I didn't care about Alexis, you and me, we would have never gotten married in the first place. I told you this would be a mistake. Yeah, well, it's a mistake that can be easily corrected. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so what the hell are you doing now? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm leaving, Dennis, and I'm leaving for good this time, and I'm taking Alexis with me. Look, look. You want to walk? Walk. You want to clean me out? Go for it. But don't even think about taking Alexis from me. Not now, not ever. It's over, Dennis. It's over. Yeah. Let me go, please. Just go. I don't know why you're crying. You're the one who's been out all night. That was it for my marriage. It was over before the one or half our wedding gifts was over. <laughs> That's got to be some kind of record, huh? We can't take your call right now, but leave a message and we'll call you back as soon as we can. Thanks. Bye. Alexis, this is your daddy calling you, baby. Um, I just called to say that I love you, all right? All right. Bye. Yeah, this is me again. I never seem to call at the right time, but Alexis, uh, I'm gonna keep calling you until I get you. I love you, all right? Bye, sweet. We can't take your call right now, but leave a message and we'll call you back as soon as we can. Thanks, bye. Right, right, I was just, uh, 
<coughs> Better step out of the vehicle, sir. Nice and easy, please. But I was just... Step out of the truck, Mr. Rodman. Now. So Dennis, the uh, Pistons and the NBA have asked me to determine whether or not you're able, uh, you're mentally able to play ball. So uh, are you uh, crazy? They want to know if I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah, basically that's right, yeah. Are you? I don't think I'm crazy. How do you explain that business up in Auburn Hills? Kill somebody. Really? Who? Dennis Rodman. The old Dennis Rodman. The one that was too ugly to kiss back in Dallas. The one that was too tall and too skinny and too dumb to even know which way was up. The one who was trying to please everybody. And ended up with nothing. No team. No wife, no little girl, no nothing. So you killed him? Yeah, I had to. I mean, it was either him or me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Living for other people was killing me, man. So I had to rebuild myself, be a man, be the person I am really deep down inside. And you can't build something new without destroying something old, right? Yeah, that's the way it usually works, yeah. Then you agree that I'm not crazy? Crazy? No, not at all, man. I think what you did was very smart. I think what you did was very healthy, Dennis. Does that surprise you? <laughs> surprise me? No. It's just good to hear that somebody else knows that I'm not crazy. <laughs> so, what are your plans for the new Dennis Rodman? This is the new Dennis Rodman. It's um, it's very nice. Very nice. Yeah, but uh, you haven't seen nothing yet. Oh, you mean this isn't just a phase you're going through? Uh, nah. This is real me. This is the real Dennis Rodman. All right. Explain that. Now, what kind of guy is the real Dennis Rodman? Somebody who uh, cares about the game. The game. The game is very important to you. That's what I believe in. It's my religion. I'm just a, a project's kid who made good. Works hard, plays hard, loves his family. Your daughter Alexis, you mean? Oh. Yeah, yeah my um, daughter Alexis. It's been reported that uh, that's who you're thinking about that night at the Auburn Hills. They found you with a shotgun outside the arena. It's been really hard on you, hasn't it? They uh, divorced me wife. So. Separation from your daughter.
It's all about family. It's not tense. Now, you can come see me during the day. I was just in the neighborhood. Yeah. Is there something wrong? No, I was just, you know, I was taping this TV show, and I figured it don't matter. Hey, how'd you like that new car I bought you? I didn't see it outside. I saw it. It was too nice. Too nice? Yeah, well, the police were always stopping me, and so I sold it. Well, I bought something smaller. You don't mind, do you? Nah, it's your car. You can do whatever you want to do with it. What? Something wrong? I don't understand why you have to mock yourself up like that. It's not... What? It's not normal? <laughs> you sound just like a manager I had once. Yes, I didn't... Forget it, man. It don't matter. Are you unhappy, Dennis? Is that it? Unhappy? Me? Why should I be? Man, this is the real me. This is who I am. I don't believe that. <sighs> I can't believe that. You can't? No. I didn't raise you to be a clown, Dennis. I raised you to be a man. You don't have to do that anymore for your dinner. Man, I ain't even hear you. It relaxes me now. It always has. Good to have you home, Dennis. What's bothering you? Since when is it a crime, man, to be different? To put rings on your ear and tattoos on your arm? And be the man you want to be without somebody treating you like you're some type of freak or something. Well, making your own way comes with a price. It's just not me, man. It's Alexis, too. People are always talking, and she has to pay the price, too. phone call. Some lady talking about you doing an interview for Vibe magazine. She says her name's Madonna. <laughs> a lot of people are threatened by you, Dennis. Afraid of you, even. Are you aware of that? Yeah, I'm aware of it. That's my job. Challenging people, you mean? Making them think? Well, I take chances. Most people are afraid to take chances because they may find out something about themselves they really don't want to know. Like, maybe they'd like to paint their fingernails or color their hair? Yeah, exactly. If I want to wear a dress, I'll wear a dress. What's the big deal? A girl once said to me, you're cool, you speak your mind. Then she said, I'm bisexual like you, too. I didn't even argue with her. I just laughed. You've never wanted to be with a man? I thought about it. That's about it. If there's any man who says he's never thought about it, it's just a lie.
<laughs> Don't look now, but I think people are watching. Yeah. You want to get out of here? You're somewhere a little bit more private. Uh, I know the perfect place. something on your mind, Dennis, why don't you just say it? I'm going out. I got Pearl Jam tickets and I'm not going to waste them, all right? Go, I don't mind. Look, I'm not asking you for your permission. I want you to come with me. You know I can't just do that. My life is a little more complicated than that. It's not complicated. You get up, you go. Otherwise, you just a... Uh... What? You're a prisoner in your own house. I'm famous, Dennis. This is what happens when you become famous. What, you stay in the house and watch these old movies all day? Hmm? Hmm? Better hurry. Don't want to be late. Nobody understood how hard it is to be Madonna and the man she was going out with. don't you think? Yeah. But the guy's only been around for 20 years. You gotta give him some time to mature. Oh, you can joke about this all you want, but that little stunt's gonna cost you 10 grand, plus a one-game suspension heading into the playoffs. It was worth it. Not to us, it wasn't. We're trying to make a run at a championship here, Dennis, and your increasing on-court antics are becoming more of a distraction to that every day. A distraction? All I'm doing is playing hard-nosed basketball. Same as always. No, you are showboating, which you are more than welcome to do off the court, but not on it. 
Not if you're still interested in having your contract rewritten anyway. Excuse me? You heard me. We're putting off rewriting your contract until we know exactly where your head is at. Here or in Hollywood. Well, I know you think you're the only one around here who wants to win, Dennis, but you're not. You got that? You're not! All right, baby girl. Daddy loves you, too. I'll see you next week, all right? Okay? Okay. All right, talk to you. Another successful phone call, huh? That's two in a row, right? Yeah, I told her to turn the answer machine off. Clever. In the game? How are the girls doing? They're playing lousy without me. But what do they care? They're still getting paid. You want to go out again, don't you? Why not? We're normal people. Neither of us are normal people, Dennis. But OK. You win. You want to go out? We'll go out. You want to pretend we're normal people? We'll pretend we're normal people. Yeah? Why not? Why not? Why not? Please, I think it might be safer if you use a service effort. This one. Is that the limo? I think so. I didn't want to tell you this in here, Dennis, but I'm leaving. My plane takes me back to Miami in an hour. And? <sighs> Love ain't a fairy tale romance with a happy ending. Two of us together was too crazy. Love ain't a fairy tale, like I said. And for Dennis Rodman, nothing comes easy. No, no, no. You're his agent. You talk to him. This is for the cover of Sports Illustrated. The cover. Do either of you understand that? Yeah. Look, bro, I'm not changing. It doesn't matter, all right? I freaked him out with that cover, bro. When they asked me how I wanted to play my last game, I told him. Straight out. Naked. Yeah. Yeah, there we go, there we go. One more time, Daddy, please, just one more. No can do. It's time for you to go home. But, Daddy... No, 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 no. You know the rules. If I don't get you home early, Mommy gets mad. Mommy gets mad. Then can we come back tomorrow? No, we can't come back tomorrow, but soon. I 
promise. But you don't keep your promises, Daddy. You said you'll call me every week, but you don't. But I do try and call you every chance I get. But you know Daddy's job is hard. You know that, right? I love you. More than anything in this world, Alexis. I always will. Don't you ever forget that, okay? Okay, Daddy. I love you, too. <laughs> I love you better when you wear the pistons. You used to win when you wear the pistons. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the Spurs are really going to have to tighten up their defense this time down, David, if they want to win this game. Oh, 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 and that's a stone shovel for the Spurs. And there it is. Rodgers oh. just fouled that. One, zero, four. <laughs> Tired of taking the blame in San Antonio. And they were tired of me. We've talked to just about everyone who knows you, Dennis. They all agree you're a terrific ball player, but you've got. But this... there shouldn't be any buts. You're looking for a ball player, right? Well, of course, but without all the distractions you've been known for in the past. What I've been known for in the past is rebound, defense, all the dirty work nobody else wants to do but me. This is a great opportunity for you, Dennis. A chance to start fresh with a championship caliber club. To play with one of the greatest players in the game. What, Magic come out of retirement again? The Spurs traded you for a guy who even they admit doesn't have half your game. Well, that makes a team wonder what they've traded for. So you want to know if I can help you? That's the question. I want to know if you want to be a Chicago Bull. A Bull? Sure, why not? Bull, Laker, Supersonic, Sixer. It's all the same to me. It's basketball, bro. I love this game. I love the game! So that's me today. The Chicago Bull. Balling with players I respect for the first time in years. For the first time in my life, I'm comfortable with who and what I am. All those people out there that said that Dennis Rodman's overpaid, hot-headed, arrogant, press hogging son of a... I got four things to say. One, two, three. Hmm. You get the picture, don't you? Thanks, son.